week, Miss Larson. I gotta get located here in this country. It's spread all out. If you're looking for a riding job, I could ask Shell Davidson. He has a lot of cattle. And he owes me a favor. Well, I don't want you to go out of your way for me. Oh. Learning means a great deal to me, Dave. Almost as much as it means to you. <laughs> Thanks again, Miss Larson. You're welcome. Who are you? What do you want? You're one of the Richies, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. I'm done with looking. Keeping company with Cheryl Davis is one thing. Holding hand with a saddle tramp is something else. Get out of here. <laughs> Wasn't my intention. Dying. You got a ways to go. I'll go it alone and get out. No, you ain't. I'm taking you down. Gonna see you hang, Mister.
up with that rifle, my hands are empty. You know him? That's Frank Ritchie, mister. He's our brother. Go find the book. Must take a lot of stomach to ride into a man's kin and tell him you gunned their brother. Go find the book. Proud of it, he is. No point in me is being proud. I don't take no pride in killing. You ain't sorry. You bet I am. I'm sorry if I had to kill him, I didn't get there a couple minutes earlier. I'm sorry he was ever born. I figure it seemly there should be some reading over my brother before we put him in the ground. You know how it's done? Ain't my place. You killed him, you're going to read over him. I want that it should be done. Douglas and me never had no learning. Frank did. He could read and he wrote a fine hand. Do you read that? Do like he says, mister. I do like I was told if I was you. We want to kill you so bad we're biting our tongues. We was partial to Frank. He was all the family we ever had. I don't care if he was your mother. I can't read no Christian words over him. Now, where do I find the law around here? I told you what he done. You keep stopping on what he done. How we know what he done? A stranger comes riding in here with our brother's body across the saddle. We're supposed to take his word for the gospel? Stranger has been camping out two miles from the school. Why you been hanging around, mister? That man was good. And he was ours. He never done a mean thing in his whole life. You expect us to believe he killed that school mom? Why, it was sweet on her. You so full of sweetness, he broke her neck. I'd like to break your neck. Frank, you know it. I know it. Well, let me kill him. Uh, not now. Why? Because I want to show folks. I want everybody to know the riches take care of their own. Frank was always hanging around looking at that teacher woman. What's that supposed to mean? What if that fellow was saying? Hey, right. such a Frank? Frank was mighty sudden. Suppose it's true. Which it ain't. You want to tell everybody how you found it, Frank Killer? I figure they're going to thank you. I figure Shell Davis is going to. Give you a pair of new spurs and silver mounted saddle. Go ahead, Frank kill this girl. That'll be a cold day. Now, Shell Davidson will not take this kindly. Now, you listen to me. That woman's been killed. There's folks around here gonna be wanting bloodshed. I figure we give them the drifter. Let them hang them. That way it's over, no questions asked. We've done Mr. Davidson a favor. Otherwise, we're in for trouble. Frank tried to help and got shot for it. That's our story. But, but that fella says different. That fellow's been camping up two miles in that schoolhouse for ten days now. What's he hanging around for? Uh, he was after her, and our Frank got shot trying to save the teacher. Only you let me tell it. I wish Frank was here to tell us what to do. Why don't you try to get Paul back while you're at it? Now, you keep your mouth shut, Douglas. Get straight. I didn't feel much better, knowing she didn't suffer much. She didn't suffer at all, Shell. Have any of you seen any strangers around? I saw a rider on a spotted horse leaving the schoolhouse yesterday. Had a big dog tagging along. Which way was he headed? Riding by the schoolhouse don't make him guilty. Miss Larson was waving goodbye to him as I rode by. Real friendly like. What kind of coat was he wearing? blow and I'm sorry for it. But I'm the one that's running things and I'm the one that'll tell the posse when to leave and I'm the one that'll pick the men and you won't be one of them. 
We'll make two parties. I'll take one up the river. I figure you'll be running for it. <laughs> He'd be in town having a beer for all we know. Now tell me, who died and left you, King Shell? You? You've had this coming for some time. I'll kill you, Roy, if I have to. Well, I was just looking for a fight, Shell. We've been due for some time. And I'm looking for a man on a spotted horse. Reckon I picked a poor time. Let's go. Hold up, Mr. Davison. I'm putting you under arrest. We're just going to have a long ride for nothing, Mr. Davison. We got the fella. A drifter. With blood in his hands. And a big, long story. But... Got your man at the ranch. His hog tied and he's ready for stringing. Shout out, Brother Frank. Before Frank died, he told us he tried to help that school mom. Drifter winged him. Frank lit out for home. We got the drop on the saddle tramp. Too late, though. Frank passed away. Right in my arms. Stop. Right there, Mr. Davidson. Now, whoever they got out there is going to get a hearing. Now, you back off, you hear? You want to shoot? Go ahead. My life ended with that girl's anyway. You going to kill a man on the word of those two? I don't like you, Richie. Or that ratchet litter you call family. If you're telling me the truth, then I'll owe you something. You paid too. Bite on the rope. No, don't lick at the rope. Chew on it. Go on, bite it. Go on. Get out of here. Um. I sure hope you enjoyed that, Brown, because it's going to be your last meal off me. Saddle blanket for somebody. You want to eat all of it. Eat every bit of it because you ain't gonna live long enough to digest it. Man's best friend. Get away from me. Make friends with me now. Horse is gone. Where is he? You had him. Him and you let him get loose. I want to spring a bullet out of the oven Don't talk place. like that. You forget we just lost our brother. Oh, that redneck Packerwood needed killed anyhow. What now? We organize a party. We hunt a rim rock.
fort right there. Don't turn around, mister. I'm going to turn, lady killer. You ain't going to turn far. You got any law riding with you? Yes, sir. Deputy Tyson. You going back down there and tell him to come up here so I can talk to him. Alone. Get going, mister. Turn around. I ain't got much to lose. You with a pot on your head, you stay right there till they come back. Right there. You the deputy? That's right. My name is Dave Blassengang. I'm two weeks out of Sonora looking for work. Now, I didn't kill that woman. I want to tell it to a judge. What's my chances? Pretty good. You sure? Look, cowboy, I'm in charge of these men. Now, you turn that weapon over, or I'll call them in. You're kind of young for this job, ain't you? I'm the best you got. Oh, I know. Don't make no difference now what you know. Okay, boy. Let's take him to town. You're not taking him anywhere, deputy. I promised this man my protection. Now he's going to get it. Now back off, David. Deputy, you ain't taking him no place. All right, that's enough. <laughs> yeah. All right, you get on over that horse. the way you hit her, lady killer? Is it? You can let him up now. 
I'll kill the first man that pulls the trigger. Hanging is one thing, but what you've been doing is something else. You mauled him long enough, Davidson. Look, I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of you. I say we take him to town. I say he needs a rope around his neck. Well, I'm going to help Mr. Davidson put it there. If everybody's talked out now, I figure we can ride. All right, you go ahead. Take him. While you do, think what it's like when some drifting scum can walk into a schoolhouse and commit murder. That speaks real good for our courts and judges, sheriffs, and wet-nosed deputies, don't it? But you go ahead, take him. Let him lay on a jail cot and eat his gut full while some fat belly judge makes up his mind to let him go. Or maybe give him a few years to teach him a lesson. I got a few words to say, deputy. Shut your mouth. At least let him speak. What for? Just gonna open up his mouth and tell a pack of lies, that's all. What do you expect him to do? Admit it? Now, he shot our brother Frank and I want him dead. Not talking about it. See, I want him dead. Shell, it appears you got strange bedfellas in this. Yeah. He's gonna say my brother Frank did it. But don't you listen. Don't you listen. It's his word against ours. I don't recall your word being written on Stone Douglas. Shell, I'm beginning to wonder who we ought to hang. It ain't true. Brother Frank's only trying to help. A drifter shot him. Brother Frank wasn't wrong that school, miss. Brother Frank suck eggs. You got your chance to talk. I heard screaming coming from the schoolhouse. So I busted in and his brother Frank of theirs pulled a gun on me, so I shot him. I was too late. Miss Larson was dead. Frank was no killer. That's yours? Yeah. Kind of strange leaving it behind. I covered it up with it. What was you doing hanging around the schoolhouse? I was learning how to write my name. We'll go back. Take another look at your brother's carcass. Why? Did you think Ellie put up a good fight? A pretty good one. Well, that one ain't got no fingernail scrapes. Frank didn't. You two come along. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Not only scratched, but cut up. Did she have a knife? She had scissors. All right. Cool down, Mr. Davidson, you hear? We was always trying to cover our name. That teacher woman was dead anyway. She wasn't going to do it. Oh. No. 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 I'm sorry, cowboy, but these things happen. I'd like to make it up to you.
has been a four-star production.